knew we can catch a lot of white bass they're not big but you can get 50 to 100 in a day so it's just a lot of fun because you get numbers yep same as last year <laughs> Yeah. yeah the numbers are here is he milking yeah. I think because these are just stuck in here they don't have a way out they don't they probably don't spawn because they spawn in moving water all right go ahead to the canoe I guess I'm ready to slide it down the hill it's working good Owen <laughs> how many white bass have you caught Really? Okay. We're... All right, guys. Hey, she's already caught two. Smallmouth. There ain't no smallmouth in here. I guess we No way. There was a large mouth. There was no smallmouth in southern Illinois. All right. Wilma's on another one, guys. Man. It looks bigger. For... Nah, it's about the same. They're not. They're not. Um, that's what I'm getting ready to do. I got my second one. All right, doubles, guys. She's got a nice little female out of there. See how yours has more of a backbone than mine, yeah. and it's darker at the top. starting to work I got it figured out when it hits the water when it, when it hits the water I count to four I do a medium retrieve on the slower side though slow medium retrieve and there he is three in a row I'm catching it <laughs> oh three fish in a row and I didn't get nothing for 45 minutes how the hell's that <laughs> They're just running through here probably for a short time. Up in them trees fishing, I can hear them talking over there, but I don't see them. All right, guys, we got doubles. I got something bigger here. This ain't, you know, yeah, it's a little nicer. All right, doubles, guys. Double white bass.
half decent. Yeah, that's a lot better. That's not bad. Yeah, that's a female. I can tell that the female are greener at the top and they got thicker backs. A male will be real silvery white. Decent. I'm happy with them. Yeah, <laughs> I am happy with these. Even though they're on, they're not the river ones, but they're. No, nope, this is a male milking. Yeah. No, that's okay. Guys, it's one of them days again where we're gonna get a hundred white bass, just like last fall. Yeah, yours has eggs in it. Goodness. Got him. Right below the canoe. Vertical jigging. Goodness. <laughs> We've already had three sets of doubles, I think. Goodness gracious. They're jumping everywhere. Make my own lake, I know where I'm coming to stock it with white bass. He's a little bigger. There's about two sizes. Eight and nine. Or seven and ten, something like that. This is the smaller size. A male. I keep getting males. She's I don't think I've gotten any females yet. It's dripping. didn't give up but I never changed the speed of my lure when you get a bite don't change your speed just act like you it, just act like you didn't even know you got a bite or else they'll turn around if you change the that's a nice one there that's a female that's a yellow bass oh big yellow bass guys what a bonus fish oh yes we haven't gotten one of these at all this year we only got one last year and she didn't she hasn't gotten a yellow bass in three years that's a nice yellow bass. There's not many in here. Oh my gosh, guys, a yellow bass. They're very, very rare here. We call them barfish. They're how they're different from a white bass. They're very dark stripes and they're broken and they got yellow. This one's not very yellow in color, but it is a yellow bass. Yeah. I'm gonna let me get a good picture of you here because that's a we probably won't get anymore. That's a rare that came out of the big muddy river out of Rim Lake. Okay, hold it up for us. That's an awesome bonus catch right there, honey. Yes, that made it worth coming. I'm glad we came here now. They're, they're, in, they're not even in Missouri at all. Wow, that'll be a good picture right there. Yeah. That's your biggest yellow bass ever. That's that's your personal best yellow bass. You didn't get none that big in Tennessee. That's a good sized yellow bass. That is such an awesome bonus. It's a pregnant female. That's big for a yellow bass, believe it or not. Even in Tennessee, when I'd go all day, I'd luckily get I'd get two or three like this. Yeah, I know. Man, that's awesome, guys. yellow bass her first one in three years and it's the biggest one I've seen in quite a while what a nice surprise wow there's not many of them in here at all that had to come in from the big money river wow 
Wowzers, man. praying for yellow. white one white bass all right got a fish finally guys had a little dry spell but it's because we're exploring around there's so much of this lake that we haven't seen there's also a south end three and a half miles down with another boat ramp i really wanted to try but we picked this in because the wind's coming directly out of the south like last year so we want to be on this end crazy got one on the crankbait guys all right what do we got here white that ain't a bad one there all right, i'm using a berkeley flicker shad that's copper a little bit chrome on the side and then pink and then orange on the bottom and it's got bearings in it uh, ball a bb a really good overcast lure very good all right nice little white bass We are fishing, believe it or not, in 20 feet of water to catch these white bass. But it, this water right here goes up into this field because it's high right now. It's only two foot deep up there and then it just drops down to 20 where we're at in a matter of 30 feet. So there's a big hill right here and these white bass are sitting on this hill. So I switched from my traditional lightweight Bobby Garland to something that goes down a lot deeper. This goes 11 feet down, so I'm covering a lot more area to attract these fish like that ooh just missed one you'll get one on that eventually crank it down hard don't be afraid to let it go down deep that's what I'm doing you get it 10 foot down there you just don't want to zip it too fast but you get it down to about seven eight feet and then kind of slow that slow it down I definitely hit bottom there. Oh! Oh, I was hitting the mud and then it got struck, guys. I think this is a large mouth. Yep. Little bitty large mouth. Every one I've ever caught out here is the same. They're like eight inches. <laughs> oh God, it's overpopulated. There you go. Oh, he got off, man. Oh, he got back on. I had him completely hooked for two or three seconds and he got off and came back for it. They're that aggressive today, guys. It's a good day. We actually have the perfect weather conditions, overcast and south winds. It's supposed to be a poor day too, but it's obviously not because every other condition was perfect. Temperature, water clarity, water conditions, local weather conditions. So just because the almanac says poor does not mean it will be. Obviously the barometer is probably dropping too because of the clouds are rolling. See, we got low pressure front coming in. That's one of the better ones of the day right there, isn't it? Yeah. It's one of the bigger sized ones. Yeah. Do this once in a while too. Watch. Watch this. Go like this. Twice. Go one, two, and then stop reeling, and then start reeling it back down. Go one, two. They'll hit it when it does that. It puts off a flash. All right, guys. Not bad.
Yep, doubles guys for the for the tenth time today. We've got no oh, man. I'm gonna try this just for the hell of it. The lime true swim bait. We're gonna see if I can get something on it. If they're hitting a three inch crankbait, why wouldn't they hit this? That's not a bad one here, guys. I got him on the white beetle spin quarter ounce. All right. We are hitting about 60 fish already. Maybe even 70. Bites and 30 large mouths. Phenomenal day, guys. It is sprinkling just barely. I just felt, yep, there's sprinkles. Hey, it's a white. All right. Once in a while, I'll get a white up there. Awesome. She's got a large mouth. I got a white. Another pretty decent white, too, on the white beetle spin. All right, guys. Hey. Yes. All right, guys. I'm going to try I'm going to try a tandem rig with little 1-inch grubs on here, a little 1-inch white grubs. I'm going to see if eventually I can get lucky enough to catch two white bass at the same time. Or two fish of any kind at the same time. I have a feeling I will eventually. God. Jesus Christ. I think I got two. There's two to, if the way it's fighting, it feels like two fish. That didn't take long, guys, if I did. There was a large mouth on there, too. I had, I had a white bass and a large mouth at the same time, guys. Wow, it worked. That's awesome. Tandem rig had a white bass on the bottom and a large mouth on top, but the large mouth fell off. Still cool though, so it's gonna work. Flicker shed. Okay. White bass. Yeah, that's not a bad one. Yeah. Oh, I got two. I got two fish, guys. Check it out. It worked. Tandem rig paid off. Okay, I need you to take a picture of me. Here, I'm gonna hold it up. I'm gonna hold it up. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Is it selling it good? No, you need to. to... I... Okay. You need to up a little bit. No, up a little bit. Your hands near on the fish, near on the fish. Okay. Get yours out of the picture. I don't want yours in there. Oh my God, your white bass lay it down or something. 
Double white bass. All right, you got to get another picture of me. I got one with bass and one with white bass now. <laughs> oh man, hold on, I'm gonna hook it back on. All right, guys, I just got a, a double largemouth a minute ago, and now I got double whites. Talk about cool. That is so cool. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Double white bass. Get it? You need to, your arm get that like, okay, that one. You need to be flat that top. What do you mean flat? Like that. Maybe. It's swimming awful funny. It's a white bass. There's one on the top and there's one on the bottom. Large mat. Oh my god. Here we go. Now we gotta. <laughs> Here. That's funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got it. How many now? Three That's times? three times. Okay. <laughs> three times it's happened. I got two large mouths, then two white bass, and then a combination. <laughs> so I got every every oh possible combination. Goodness. Swimming real weird. I think I got a double fish here, guys. No, I don't. It's just a real big white bass. Two, one of each again. All right, guys, I got a large mouth and a white bass. So we've gotten, I got one with two white bass, one with two large mouth, and two separate ones with a large mouth and white bass. In fact, this is the exact opposite because the bass was on the bottom last time and the white bass was on the top. So I've done every combination. <laughs> You'll get one eventually. You'll get lucky. If I did four times, you'll get it. It's really better if you do it about two feet apart. Way deep out there. You sure you got a fish? I didn't see it either. That's not a That's fish. Yeah it is. Oh man, that ain't bad. Don't pick it up. That ain't bad at all. Nice little channel, I'll zoom in on you. Oh yeah. Now hold, try to hold it normal and I'll get a picture of you. What you want to do is put your fingers behind its fins like this. Hold it like that. Yeah. Good job, honey. Yeah. Well, I got something else, huh? Got it. Two. No, but one fell off. Got him on the bottom of the yard. There was. Oh, a white bass. Just hit it. Oh my god. Right at the top of the water. Right when I was pulling this fish up. Oh my god, guys. That is nuts. 
that white bass hit this on the very top of the water. God. Another largemouth white bass combo. The bass on the bobby garland and the white bass on the white grub. Boy, and he inhaled this thing. I just fixed this and I'm lucky if I get it back. Oh, come on. Yeah, I got it. I had it and it went right back in. There we go. <laughs> oh, Lord. Guys. 150 fish day. And we weren't even here till 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock and caught 150 fish. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> All right, let me get a let me get a picture of you here. Now, I'm far enough away. Just hold the hold the bass by the Bobby Garland head. Just grab the jig head. There you go. All right, Wilma with her first tandem rig double there. A large mouth on top, white bass on bottom. That's awesome. Good job. <laughs> I told you you'd eventually do it. Well, I, what is it? Large mouth. You got two. And a large mouth, yep. That's what you did last time, didn't you? <laughs> oh my God. That's the fifth time, sixth time between the both of us. God. All right, Wilma just got a large mouth and a white bass in the same throw again, guys. Good gosh. What an epic day. These tandem rigs, I should have came up with this idea earlier. That's what I used to do in Tennessee below the dams. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna throw back here, I guess. <laughs> Guys, we have had a phenomenal day today. We got Wilma, her personal best yellow bass. We caught, I'm going to say at least 130 to 150 fish. About, ended up being about half and half, half white bass, half large now. And she got the one channel cat. All in all, it was a really excellent day. Perfect weather out here. Nice and quiet and peaceful out here. Got to see a lot of buffalo splashing. I also got three amazing feats in one day. I got a double white bass on the tandem rig, largemouth and white bass mixed together, and two largemouths on the tandem rig. And we did this probably six, seven times. She got two sets of doubles. I think both of hers were both largemouth and white bass mixed, and mine was every possible way possible. White bass on the bottom, white bass on top, Large mouth on the bottom, large mouth on top. Both species of just the both double white bass, double large mouths, and mixed. So what an accomplishment! A lot of fun this place is. There's nothing real big in here, but it's a good place. This would be an excellent place to bring a kid, like a six or seven year old that's just learning. They would absolutely have a blast. Until next time, guys, hit that like button and please subscribe. It's really gorgeous down here in southern Illinois.